Terraform is not just to provision the VMs in the cloud. It has grown much more than that and evolving at the speed of light. Terraform providers are a logical abstraction of an upstream API. What it means is that whenever you want to interact with an external provider outside of Terraform, you need a provider from that external resource. Terraform providers are responsible for understanding API interactions and exposing resources. In this screen, you can see that I have specified a GitHub provider. A GitHub provider allows you to interact with the GitHub from your Terraform code. The GitHub provider is used to interact with GitHub resources. The, this provider allows you to manage your GitHub organization's members and teams easily. It needs to be configured with the proper credential before it can be used. You must add a required underscore providers block to every module that will create resources with this provider, which is valid in this Terraform 13 and later versions. If you do not explicitly require integration slash GitHub in a submodule, your Terraform run may break. So make sure that you have configured your GitHub providers as shown here. This code chunk shows you how to create a GitHub template repository. The template repos in GitHub allows user to generate a new repo with the same structure, including files, folders, and branches as another repository. This means that when a repo is marked as a template repo, it can be used to generate files and folders when creating other repositories. It's a cookie cutter concept and it is a once only operation, which means changes to the template will not be reflected in template driven repos. You should always keep a basic standard template for a Terraform repo in your GitHub. On this screen, if you the line number uh, line number 37 is is underscore template is equal to true. This is telling Terraform that this repo is a template repo and can be used and reused in another repositories. Now let's create a actual GitHub repository through Terraform. This resource in Terraform allows you to create and manage repositories within your GitHub organization or the personal account. It can be public or private. In this code chunk, as you can see at line number 41, we are defining the resource GitHub and we are giving it a local name example. Then for line number 42 and 43, we are just giving it a name and description. And then visibility is equal to public. For the visibility, it can be even public or private too. If your organization is associated with an enterprise account using GitHub Enterprise Cloud or GitHub Enterprise Server 2.2, O plus at the time of this uh, demo, visibility can be internal too. The visibility parameter overrides a private parameter. And at the last block, I'm specifying which template to use for this GitHub repository. And I'm specifying the template which we saw on the last screen. And I'm also including all the branches in this Git, uh, GitHub repo. So when we create this repo, it will inherit all of this template repository. So this, this is how you use the Terraform um, source code to provision a GitHub repository. There are many functions you can perform on your GitHub repository through Terraform. In fact, you can manage your whole GitHub infrastructure through it. So I hope that helped and uh, um, enabled you to understand the power of Terraform. If you have any comment, uh, questions or comments, please put them in the comments. Thank you very much.